welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing a Tiny Rebel beer. This is Citra Incognito and it is an IPA at 5.6%. Uh, this is one that I got off the Tiny Rebel website uh, after Christmas, after the Christmas calendar. I got a 20% off and I decided to get a few. This is one of them. Cost me about £2 something. Um, not had it before. Uh, I'm, I've kind of been looking forward to it. Um, Tiny Rebel hit and miss. Most of them I've had a good. Um, like I said, I've not had this one, but I've been looking forward to it. Anyway, um, there's the can. All the guff on the front. It is a vegan beer. It's on the back here. Um, and it says the eye is golden or hazy. Um, the nose is tropical or citrus, and the taste is tropical and citrus. And it says citra and cognito, all the citra. And then there's the obvious, or then there's the normal tiny rebel rule, which is we have one rule never just make vanilla ice cream. Um, which is basically don't be plain, don't be boring, which I, I, I appreciate. Anyway, um, that's all the guff on it. The can art's quite nice, it's a bunch of I don't know, like Picasso styled. I don't know, cannot. It's it's got like a. I don't know. It looks cool. Um, pop arty style. Anyway, um, no guff on the back besides what I said. So let's crack open and see what we've got. Ooh. That looks nice. Pull the rest in a second. So we've got a pineapple juice, orange juice blend. It's like quite pineapple juice up here. And you've got a nice orange juice at the bottom. Uh, nice, bright, white, compact head. It looks the business. So let's get a smell and see what we get. Passion fruit right on the nose, bit of mango, citrus, grapefruit, orange. There's a hint of pineapple in there, not on too over the top. Um, all them other flavors quite, all all them other smells quite strong. It smells lovely. Let's get a mouthful for body and car. That body feels quite thick. Carbs light, body's medium. Um, it feels really thick. That first mouthful felt really, really full. Um, it's not, but it, it caught me off guard a little. Um, medium bodies, light carb. So far, so good. Let's get a big old taste on. Cheers. Oh, passion fruit is really, really strong. <clears throat> Let me just top that up and I'll uh, do the review popper. Um, passion fruit is really, really strong, um, followed by pineapple. The lack of pineapple on the nose is made up for in the taste. Really, really well. It's dry. Slightly bitter. Um, is it the this the smell and the taste are sort of reverse. So what you can really really smell, you can't taste as much. But what you could kind of a little bit smell, you can taste loads of. It's it's a really backwards beer. So you couldn't really smell the pineapple. There was like hints of orange and grapefruit, but you can taste them really well. And then there was the big hits of mango and passion fruit on the flip on the smell but it's quite mild in the taste uh, so it's quite a backwards beer um but it's nice it's nice it's it's juicy it's it feels or it tastes fresh like fresh fruits um exotic you know whatever you want to call it I think it's fantastic. <clears throat> That's up there with a with a 
some of the IPAs I've had of that. It's really, really good. Um, yeah, most of the flavour you get is pineapple, a um, little bit of passion fruit, a lot of citrus, a little bit of mango, and it finishes nice, dry, slightly bitter finish. It does make me want to go back for more and keep drinking and keep having it. It's so good. Um, I think I will, but off camera, because I quite like this. I'm going to go in and enjoy it. So, <coughs> pardon me. Tiny Rebels Citra Incognito. Out of 10, I'm actually going to give that one a 9. Um, I know I said I was looking forward to it, but I didn't think I'd like it this much. It's really, really good. Um, so, if you've had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think, if you like it, if you don't. If you've not had it, I'll leave a link to Tiny Rebels website down below where you can get one. They're not it's not one of the older beers. It's not new. Not It's not brand new, but it's relatively recent in one of their releases. Probably three, four months old. I've kept my eye on the website. Um, yeah, it's about three or four months old, so it's a relatively new one. I wonder what the best before is. Yeah, it's got till November. Yeah, like I say, it's a relatively new beer, recent one. Um, but anyway... Um, yeah, if you've had it, let me know. If you've not, I'll leave a link to Tiny Rebels' website, where I've got mine. If you like the video, though, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on, etc., etc., so on and so forth. And I'll see you later.